Okay, what's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Real oppression versus fake oppression, I think. Um, so I think this is a, a be a conversation more so about logic and why certain people look at things certain ways. Now, this can apply because I'm black. Of course, this can apply to racism, but this is, can also apply to sexism. Uh, classism, um, you know, ageism, I guess. Uh, uh, and you can use it however you want. I mean, I might use examples of all, I don't know. But here's the thing when a person who, there, there are people who are really oppressed and they have issues dealing with that oppression. And there, are, and there are people who just, like, they want to, they, they make up things to be oppressed about that when you see, when they talk about, the shit sounds so trivial and stupid, you might want to have that conversation with somebody who, who, who um, actually doesn't have the, you know, real problems and you know when people say those are first world problems and stuff like that and I can understand that when people say it but what I can't understand about that a lot of times people who say those are first world problems are people from first world country like oh he's a first world problem well, motherfucker will move to a third world country uh, uh, shut the hell up you get what I'm saying so like sometimes I make videos about things and, and, and people who are non-black you're being racist I'm being racist because I'm talking about some shit and we don't agree on perspective that's, that's what you're saying you know and you know same thing with others and, and the same rules apply like a lot of times you know a person will tell me I'm being racist or tell me they don't like my tone because uh, if I'm going to say something that ruffles your feathers I have to say it in a perfect way so you can feel comfortable because you're so fucking sensitive that's why the fuck you, I'm saying you, you're not really oppressed of anything you, if you need to be coddled in a conversation and I'm not fucking having with you in the first place you're on some bullshit but I digress. <laughs> um, but the thing about stuff like that is this: people may talk about um, racial inequality, or police brutality, or crime, or, or, or let's just say people who who have real fears for their lives, and then you have people out here who 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 say, you know. Well, you shouldn't be doing this, and you shouldn't have done that, and you shouldn't have done that. You brought it on yourself. And here's, here, here, this is where the logic of it gets messed up. If you say somebody was committing a crime, and they get killed while committing that crime, I ain't saying shit. You, I don't give a shit what race y'all. You, you did some stupid shit. You did some shit that was fucked up. You, you was wrong. You was in the wrong. And you was willing to die for being wrong. So if you get killed in the process, it's your problem. But here's the thing. There are people who will point the finger. See, it's because you, you, you black people, okay. You, you can't name, you, but you can't name people of your race that will be in the same situation and get killed. And, and, and that's not normal to your community. That you, you see, when you change the color or the ethnicity or, 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 or the culture or even the place, the shit don't make sense. You get what I'm saying? So what, what I mean by that is this. You know, if I was talking about Trayvon Martin, You wouldn't, if I, if, 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 if George Zimmerman was a black guy and Trayvon Martin was a Hispanic kid and the police told him, chill out, 
And he was, I'm in fear for my life. I don't even shot the kid or a white kid or an Asian kid. Your, your complete logic of who he was standing his ground, you wouldn't even have that logic. It's bullshit. You wouldn't have that logic. You, you, you those same people, if, 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 if police officers, uh, if a black police officer in, came and choked out a fat white guy in New York, quote unquote, because he said he was selling loose cigarettes, and it was filmed on camera. People be like, who the fuck died? You don't get to kill people for, for cigarettes? And the guy said he broke up a fight. What the fuck are you arresting him for for breaking up a fight? He helped your fucking job. See, that's when logic will kick in. Like, oh, 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 this is real. Okay. If. Now, somebody sent me a message about, you know, what about, uh, what about black on black crime? I did a video about both sides of that separately. And he was like, you can't blame that on white people. And I said, look, man, you can't blame a, a criminal for making a choice to be a criminal. You can't blame that on white people. That's true. But black people don't produce drugs. Black people don't create drugs. Black people did not create the drug trade. Black people did not create the system to get drugs from other countries into America. That's um, white people and Hispanic people for the most part and, and Arabs I guess uh, and, and the, the white US government. So I mean, are you gonna look at their their hands? But see, but you're not gonna look at that. It's cool to be an Italian gangster. It's bad to be a black gangster. You get what I'm saying? Now, I'm I'm having this conversation for for another reason. I'm going for somewhere too. Same thing with sexism, right? Women who feel oppressed fuck it up. Well, no, no. Women who are actually being oppressed are getting fucked up by women who have bullshit outrage about oppression. And this is what I mean. Women might say, oh, there's a glass ceiling, there's misogyny, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay. I'm going to walk down the street with my titties out to fight misogyny. No, that, that, I don't know how the fuck you think that makes sense. I don't know what kind of fuck. If, if, if that's your way of fighting back, obviously you don't have a real problem. I'm going to run in a marathon with no tampon on to the power of women. Excuse me? What the fuck are you thinking? We're going to walk around the street in high heels and dress like sluts and say, yes, we're free to what? You do not have a real fucking issue. If those are your fucking solutions. I'm just going to be honest with you. There are women who are actually doing shit in this world. Who may be getting stonewalled. And they can't. They can't fuck with y'all. They actually may be going through oppression. They go. Uh, uh, sisters. We got to get together. I guess this, 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 this good old boys club. We got to. Uh, you know, and, it, and it's touch and go because I would say this like white women, when white women say that, it's like, how is it a good old boys club for your ass when you're married to and fucking the good old boy himself? Like, you're still reaping the benefits of good old boy system. I don't get it. But that's a whole other story. But a woman like that who's trying to make moves, right, and get stonewalled by men, is not going to walk into say any business or any corporate office or, or, or try to create anything or write you know uh, create art or literature or, or, or anything that, that advances society or try to create an automobile and say hey you know what my answer to this is I'm going to rip off this corporate jacket and just put my titties on the table that shit don't fucking make sense 
And it wouldn't make sense. <laughs> if you were in that position. Like, if men, men have a problem with the oppressive nature of, um, say, uh, the court system with uh, fa family courts, do you see men running around here walking down your main street just with their dicks out? I'm, I'm protecting my rights as a father and I'm going to let my dick swing in the wind while I'm walking to show it. Just the idea that it's fucking stupid. You know, people don't take, and one thing that usually bothers me, because I think I was raised old school, people don't take, um, people don't have a respect for their elders. Now if, a, now, if an elder person is a disrespectful old person, I can understand it. But if we're talking about elders who actually can teach you some things, put you on the right path, or give you some wisdom, you need to shut the fuck up and listen. And run around here talking, nobody pays attention to me because I'm young and I'm, and I'm so... You see, youth is not an excuse to be stupid, okay? And ignoring wisdom because you're young epitomizes young and dumb. That's why some old people just kick back, okay, do your thing. All right. I'll see you next week. You won't see me next week. Okay. I'm so oppressed by this world. Okay, well, this is what you need to do. You need to, don't do that, because that's not going to work. Do this right here. Why would I do that? No, I, I just want to, okay, all right, fine. Why would I listen to you? You old. Oh. You're right. Don't listen to me because I'm old. But don't bring your stupid ass back over here. Disrespecting me in my house. Asking me for money because you got fucked up in the game. Or asking me for advice. How about that? See, that's how them old school people used to talk. Like, you know. And then you... And I, I do that a lot of times because... Um, Sometimes when you're honest with people and straightforward with people and you make a lot of sense, we live in a society where a lot of dumbass people and they shake their head like, like it's the glitch in the system, like it's caught in a matrix. Can you see that dumb look in their eyes? And I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> like, what is that? Oh, 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 cannot compute too much sense. What the fuck is that? Like, I don't know. But the thing about it is, People who are actually going through some shit are not trying to hear your trivial bullshit. You see, if if my issues are paramount and have to do with my survival, my livelihood, my life, and yours have to do with your feelings, and you then. Your shit can, your shit don't make sense. It's push that shit to the side. If my issues are I'm getting uh, stonewalled by the system or, 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 you know what, I use this example. Somebody said, um, nobody's stopping you from being uh, successful in America. And I thought to myself, either you fucking stupid or you're naive. You see, here's the thing. First of all, across all racial boards, I'm talking about classism right now, The rich or the wealthy do not want a country of rich, wealthy motherfuckers. Are you crazy? It, it, see, the mountaintop is very small. And if you build your castle on the mountaintop, the last thing you want 
is a hundred other motherfuckers coming up there trying to build a castle with you. You get what I'm saying? So, if you don't think that this game is set up to make sure the majority of people are unsuccessful at reaching the mountaintop, then you're naive. You're pretty stupid. Because at the end of the day, look at how hard it is to get to the mountaintop and look at how many uh, potholes and, 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 and obstacles you have to go through and how many people may sabotage you along the way and, and how some of those and how some of those sabotages are actually in some ways paid to sabotage you or, or, or society is set up for them to get benefits from making sure you don't make it. So if you don't understand that of, all, of, of racial, gender, class, age and lines, then then something's wrong with you. It's a reason why certain fields have more of some person or other. And it's not just, at some point, there is a certain interest that some people may have over others, but people people, um, are acknowledged differently and taught differently and responded to differently by, you see, if I wanted to be an astrophysicist and be a black man, my role would be a little bit more difficult than the normal demographic of physicists, right? Because ultimately, it wouldn't, the people that I maybe would work with, say if I got all the way to NASA, right? They wouldn't have an issue with, with me because it's the intelligence that people want as a unit. But you forget about the plethora of teachers that uh, that will demean you, disrespect you, give you bad grades on purpose, you know, not pass you. you does that shit not cross your mind? Like seriously? You know, th- it, it's set up that way. Uh, it's getting long, so I'm gonna cut this shit short now. Um, but at the end of the day. If you don't take into consideration all the things that actually oppressed people go through and you're just having a moment, look at the difference between what people who are oppressed are saying and what people who are faking like they're oppressed are saying and the things that they're doing and the things that, that these things affect. You'll see the difference immediately. Peace.